All right, so I finally got her. Man, look at her. She's pretty clean. Check this out. Got a lot of other little pieces to go with it. To include... Book. Everything in it. Man, this guy even got the original sales certificate of authenticity. Very well documented car. And the uh, only thing is kind of concerned because let's check this out oh i gotta figure this out <laughs> the germans do things a little different here i had a hard time just cranking this up but when i cranked it up let's put my seatbelt on i know it's not doing it right now but this red exclamation point comes up Sucks. So let me go to Google before I drive it home. I'm probably gonna have to hit Google before I drive it home with that red exclamation point. Make sure everything is good because I hate to mess this car up because it's kind of expensive, you know, when you have a Porsche if something goes wrong. Um, but, anyways, we'll see. I'll let you know. impressions about the car now that I've been driving it for about 20 miles trying to get back to the house and still like we have a lot of traffic but anyways um, the car drives amazing um, another gripe I have with the vehicle is these sticky buttons oh my goodness I don't know who thought that was a good idea to coat everything in syrup but it is horrible man it is horrible um, but I'll see if there's a quick fix for that if not I'll just deal with it um, but as far as driving impression Man, this car drives amazing. Um, I think people forget that it's a rear, I mean, not a rear, it's a mid engine car, not a rear engine car. Most um, 911s and all the 911s are rear engine cars. The Boxster and the Cayman, which what makes them great driver's cars is because they are actually rear engine cars. And it feels like it. This car is unflappable in corners. I feel like I can send it as fast as I want it um, as long as I can my body uh, physiologically can deal with the g-forces that you know this car is going to make it um, this sound system is top-notch man it has a Bose sound system and I like Bose personally and it is high quality high quality sound system um, everything in here is uh, really nicely done very straightforward um, still has that German smell um, and also it's still very analog you know when you hit the gear selector you know you can hear the little now you can feel the uh, the mechanism actually working um, the steering is very tight the steering is uh, spot on man you know exactly where you're going when you decide that you want to turn it um, so so far I like it I do wish and I'm not sure I'm gonna look this up but I feel like the Beamer feels quicker. I know it's not the case, but the Beamer does feel a little quicker to me. Um, but overall, love the vehicle. The condition of the vehicle is, is top notch. One of the nicest vehicles I've ever had. And it's gonna make it very hard for me if I decide to uh, part with it. I think I'm gonna decide to list it. I'm gonna 
just to quickly see if I can make some money, kind of like what I did to BMW. And um, and if it don't sell, oh well, I keep it. I'll be glad to keep it. Um, or like the BMW, I decide to sell it, have it sold, and if the person don't buy, then change my mind and hold on to the vehicle. Um, I kind of feel bad about that, but. Like I said, my plan is to bring it up to its former glory and enjoy it some more. You know, these vehicles are getting harder and harder to find and the prices on them are going through the roof. Um, I was looking around for another BMW sedan just to see if it'll be okay if I part with my other one and it's not easy. And the same thing with like this Boxster S. Um, these cars are going up in value and they're even if they are, you know, higher, one of the problems is finding one. Can you find one? And then can you find one that's close to you? Because you know, you don't want to buy one across the country unless you're able to actually test drive it. So that's kind of where I'm at with it, which is going to make it hard for me to part ways with it. But anyways, if I decide to keep it, I would love for you to let me know in the comments, what should I do with it? Number one, whether I should keep it or go ahead and sell it. Um, I think I'd be able to make about three to $5,000 on this vehicle. One of the things I got to be careful of because I'm accumulating a lot of cars. I'm going to be moving across the country. I don't have anywhere to park them right now. And I got to make room in my budget. And also, um, geographically, I got to make room to park all of these things. And also, not just park them, you know, it's not like I'm parking a Honda Civic. You're talking about a $30,000 car. It needs to be parked in a place where it's away from the elements to. Um, allow it to continue to look as good as it's been looking um, but we'll see more to follow with that um, but like I said I'm just going to enjoy the ride home hopefully I'll have this video edited and I'll post it tomorrow let me know what you think about the Porsche what I should do with it um, any modifications if I do decide to keep it 